Hey y'all, Sassy Keto Nurse here. Before we get started on this video, I just want to remind you, click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the little bell next to it so that you get notifications whenever I post a new video. And if you enjoy my videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Now let's get started. Hi y'all, this video is going to be about keto sustainability. Sustainability is defined as something that can be used without depleting, to be used for a long time, to be utilized without using it up, okay? For keto, the biggest question you have to ask yourself to decide whether this is a sustainable way of life for you or not is can you do without sugar, without carbs, without pasta, without bread for the rest of your life? Well, do you have to? I mean, really? There's so many options. There's so many keto-friendly options. Y'all, there are recipes galore out there for keto bread. Now, granted, I haven't tried many of them because I don't miss bread anymore. Once I became fat adapted, it wasn't something that I needed. But now when it comes to pasta, I am, I love me some pasta. So, you've got zoodles. They're great. Zucchini noodles. You've got spaghetti squash, my favorite. I love spaghetti squash to make spaghetti, to make lasagna, all those kind of good things. I will say that the sweet treats, the keto sweet treats, I wouldn't rely on them much in the beginning because the truth is anything sweet, even if using, even if using artificial sweeteners to make the sweet treats, can cause you to crave sweets even more, putting you right back in the situation that you were in when you were eating all the garbage, okay? So what you wanna do is, you know, save those sweet treats for the special occasions. Or, you know, when you make your fat bombs, you can have a few, you know, sweet fat bombs, but make sure that you're only eating one or two if you can't stop at one or two, that's probably not something you need to have in your freezer. It's probably something you need to hold off on, okay? I've been on this journey for eight months. I have just really started using sweet treats. I'm actually going to try making peach ice cream tomorrow. So we're going to see how that goes. But it's all about determining if you can do this for a lifetime. Keto is not a diet that you start on, stay on for a few months and lose the weight, and then go back to eating the same garbage that you were eating before. When you go back to eating all that junk, the sweets, the sugar, then your body is gonna switch right back over and start burning glucose for fuel instead of fat for fuel, and you're gonna gain the weight back. That is just the truth. That is simple chemistry, okay? So, you need to decide, you know, you need to make that decision. This is a way of life. It's not a diet, it's a way of life. And it's a decision that you make for yourself, for your health, and for your life. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.